All right, YouTube, doing a quick look at the Smith & Sons Brave fixed blade. Try to get some shots of it here if my camera will focus. Yeah, having some issues, just a second. There we go. So uh, I live uh, very close to the Smith & Sons uh, shop. And uh, so I go there every now and then. And uh, I got this one uh, close to a year ago. And uh, I'm actually going to be, I'm selling this to a buddy. And I'm going to be getting one with a different blade finish that I like a little better. But I wanted to show this real quick. Uh, if you want to see a full, uh, really thorough review on this knife, Gideon's Tactical has one on his channel. Uh, but this is just going to be a quick look. But this one, uh, most of them are in either micarta or G10 handles. This one's in a uh, Bocati wood handle. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. The uh, steel is in D2 on this one, which is really nice. It's got a nice stone wash on the blade. Uh, came really sharp. They have uh, free lifetime sharpening. Uh, it's a full flat grind, which I like, uh, eighth inch, uh, steel stock. Um, and the way Smith and Sons, uh, contours these handles is great. There's no hot spots. Everything is perfectly round and smooth. Uh, you can't, you can't tell where the, the, uh, handle starts and where the, you know, where the steel and the handle line up. It feels like it's all just one piece nice and super smooth and rounded all the way around really nice uh fits in the hand good i have medium sized hands and i have a little bit hanging off there but yeah overall this is an awesome knife i'm going to be getting the same knife again but probably just in a different uh blade finish which i'll show that too i'm going to try to show a lot more uh smith and son stuff on here since i'm so close to their shop so that's a good look at it there. I don't know what just happened to my lighting. There it comes. <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? Awesome knife. This would be a good everyday carry if you uh, if you like to carry an everyday fixed blade. So cool. All right, I'm gonna do a few size comparisons for you over at the table here. Uh, I don't have the specs on this uh, right now, but I'm gonna have it in the description like I always do. Uh, for the only other fixed blade I had readily available right now is, uh, I have this Mora. If you wanna see a quick size comparison there. So yeah, it's a little more compact. Uh, and this is actually the isn't the regular more this is the uh forget what it's called i got it at a gun, uh, gun and knife show but this the blade stock on this one's thicker than the regular more i don't know if you can see sorry about the camera guys no, it doesn't have a model on it but uh so yeah that's it next to it and then i actually have another smith and sons knife this is the mud bug I got the this about uh I want to say on their second run they had of the mud bugs. Uh I was able to get to be one of the first in line uh to get one of these not this past run they had of them but the run before that and I got this in the green micarta handle which I'm going to do a review on this one day. Uh, you know it's carbon steel so it's starting to change colors and get a little patina going. But yeah, this is actually a pretty big uh, folder. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than the fixed blade. So, move that out of the way. And, and those also come with a sheath. Uh, the uh, Brave also comes with this sheath, too. Uh, God, it's got a loop. And they make these themselves. Friction fit works pretty good this is the little uh, certificate that the knives come with you can see it's brave d2 steel bocati handle 
signed and dated. Oh, there's the date right there. So it hasn't been quite a year since it was, it was made. Come in this little box here, Smith and Sons. Never a dull moment. But just wanted to give you a quick look if you were thinking about buying one and you wanted to see what the the wood looks like on this. Just wanted you to be able to know. And uh, they're definitely an awesome company. I've talked to the guys over there several times, and uh, wouldn't hesitate buying one of their knives. All right, y'all have a good one.